Hey, what's going on guys? John here bringing you guys some more Black Ops gameplay. And right now I am playing some domination on some competitive playlist on Black Ops 1. Not Black Ops 2, but Black Ops 1. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't even upload Black Ops 2 gameplay yet on YouTube and you can't even stream it yet. Only, I think you can only stream it on Ustream. Um, I seen Parasite stream it yesterday, you're streaming some Black Ops 2. But that's not even the point of this video. I'm actually going to be talking about difference from actual headsets and still series headsets. Now, I know a lot of you guys always leave me comments down below. What's a better headset? What headset do you recommend me getting? Um, still series or the actual headsets? And a lot of you are like, well, the still series is cheaper. I don't, I don't want to waste more money on the actual gaming if still series are better or they're the same exact quality. Well, that's why I'm here, and I'm here to let you guys know what's the difference from the two headsets. What should you expect from them? And so, yeah, let me start from the Astro Gaming headsets. So, first off, the Astro headsets are about, like, $240, $250. I don't know how much the cost was is now, but when I went to go buy it, it was $250. I'm pretty sure it's the same price, or it could have gone down, like, $10, $20. Not sure. But what I love about the Astro Gaming headset it, I have the A40s. I don't know anything other than the A30s or if they have like A20s or whatever they have. I only have the A40s. I don't even have the A50s yet. But what I enjoy about the A40s is that I it's the A40s are only really good for in-game gameplay. And what I mean by that is the game sound. Now, when you hear a nade land by you, you know where it lands when you're using the Astro headset. You know where it lands. If you hear a knife, you can just turn around. You know where it came from. Um, when you hear a guy that doesn't have Ninja Pro climbing a wall, you know uh, you know if you want to turn to your left or to your right to see what wall he's climbing. Or, or like if he's climbing behind you. You just It's better surround system, and I like it a lot more because you know where the sound's coming from. That's basically what I'm trying to tell you guys. If you guys are playing pubs, you know where the footsteps are coming from. Now, the bad thing about Astro's headsets is that the mic is really bad. It's terrible. And I'm actually using the mic right now to commentate. The mic is not that good. So I use the Steel Series headsets to commentate. But right now, I just got lazy and I didn't feel like commentating with the Steel Series headsets. But I'm using the Astro headset right now to commentate. Um, I find you guys might think it's good. It's all right. It's perfect, whatever. But I feel like the Astro mic is not that good. Um, it could be a lot better. I feel like it's a lot. It's really staticky. It picks up a lot of sound, and it sometimes it could be really loud. So you have to talk really low, so it does pick up. So it's not, you know, it doesn't sound like you're screaming into the mic. You guys all know me in my past videos. I'm screaming into my mic. Well, it sounds like that at least. So that's some more downfall about the actual game, and I think at least. The other um, downfall I think of the Astro Gaming is the you. It's not really good to listen to music with. Now I know you're not gonna buy the Astro A40s to go buy to go listen to music on your iPod, but I every time I go out to an event to the airport, I take my iPod with me, or when I whenever I go at anywhere, I take my iPod with me. And I usually instead of taking my Astros or taking headphones, I usually take my Still Series because my and I'll get into that in a little bit. I'll tell you why Still Series are good for music, but. That's, I think that's it about the Astros. If you're solely thinking about gaming and you want the best gaming headset, it will, I will tell you to go buy Astros. It's going to be expensive. Yes, $250 just because you need an Astro mix amp. You need the mix amp that comes with the Astro headset. So the mix amp's about like uh, $130 and the headset's like about $150 or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know how they work it out. But... Yeah, so the Ashes are only really good for gaming, like, so you can tell where the guy's coming from if you hear his footsteps, or where the knee lander, or where, where the guy, if the guy missed his knife, you can tell, like, which direction to turn, because sometimes you don't, you can't, you don't have time to do that full 360 to see where the guy's coming from, because when you're doing that full 360, the guy, you're, you're going to be dead already, but when you're doing that 180, where you just gotta turn to your left or turn to your right, you know, it can save you a lot of time. And if you if you know the guy's right behind you, you can just fucking jump and turn around as quick as you can. And that's why, you know, Ashes are really good. But still series, now the still series are to me are mainly for music and for to commentate. Those are the only two things I like the still series for. Because as I said with the Ashes, you can tell if the guy's coming to your left, you can tell if the guy's coming behind you or to your right. Or you know, wherever it is. 
But with the still series, it's just all cluttered up. You don't know where he's coming from. You don't know if he's, like, if the guy's to your right, you might hear him behind you. You might hear him to your left. It's just, you do not know where he's coming from. And now some of you guys may be like, oh, you're wrong, John. I have still series that sound like that. Well, to me, I use the Siberia V2s. They sound like that. Um, I use them with Astro, Mixamp, and it's just horrible for in-game um, sound. It has too much bass, and I think that's why you can't really tell where the guy's coming from all the time. Um, that's just the still series headset. I don't know. I only tried out the Siberia V2s. I don't know about the 7Hs or the, if they have new ones yet. Um, the mic on the Siberias or the still series are very, very good. I, I always use them to commentate just because they're, they don't pick up that much sound in the background. And they're, I don't know, it's just really good quality. Quality. Now, the other good thing about still series is to listen to music you know it's very tight on your ears so you can't hear anything in the background so if you go to the airport if you go out to a big place where you hear a lot of people talk once you put the still series on you hear nothing other than the music so the still series is really good for that if you're just playing on you just want to listen to music and you just want to cancel all all the sound around you now by the way the Astros does not cancel out a lot of sound so if you're going to an MLG event you will who if there's people talking right behind you, you know, when they put you in those booths, on um, that booth, but when you're playing on those tables, there's always people behind you watching, you can hear everyone talking. So, you know, that's a, that's a downside, but all you got to do is put the game sound on up on your Astro Mix amp and you're all good to go. You it'll cancel out the sound. Um you hear the game sound more than that you hear the people. But the still series, yeah, cancels out all the sound and it's very it has really good bass as I said earlier. So it's very good to listen to music, but I do not recommend Still Series for gaming, just because the sound is just disoriated. Um, I think that's the right word. But yeah, guys, um, the video is ending. I'm just keep talking. I just wanted to let you guys know what I think about Astros and Still Series. My opinion on it. You guys might have a totally different opinion, but if you're going strictly for gaming for MLG events, go for the Astros. If you're going for music, if you're going, if you don't have the money, go for the Still Series. I. Uh, but you're going to have to buy a mix amp. Um, if you're going for music commentating, um, you just want to cancel out all the sound, go for the still series. But I recommend Astros, a 40s, a 50s, whatever you're going to buy. I'm not sure about the A30s. They're really tiny. But the A40s and the A50s are the same exact thing. I know the A50s have better sound quality. So you guys, should, if you guys are going to buy new Astros, you guys have the money, go for the A50s. But I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this commentary. I hope this does, it did help you guys out. And if you guys see anyone, leave a comment down below. You know, what do you think, John? Should I get the Ashes or the Siberias? Please recommend them to this video. You know, send put a link down below. Or tell them to look at my past videos or something. Because a lot, I get this message all the time in my inbox and a comment on Twitter every single day. So if you guys can, please help me out. I, if I see the comment, I'll put it down below and I'll tell them to go watch the video. But if I don't, if you guys can... You know, help me out and let them know that I made this video already. But yeah, guys, till next time, I love you all. Peace.